What's up everybody, welcome to 12 things you didn't know about Laser League. Except, some of you may know some of these, so it might be like 6 things you didn't know about Laser League, and then 6 things you kinda knew about Laser League, or it might be, you know, you get my point. So, if you know some of them, I'm sorry, but I've put together 12 things that I think most people don't know about. Uh, unless you're like a really high level player, then you'll probably know about most of these, but yeah, enjoy! So the first thing we're going to talk about is on the map rotator. Now when you get late on, four nodes are going to spawn in the corners, and you, these usually decide the winner of the round. But as these nodes spawn, a switch spawns. Now what you want to do when the nodes spawn is you don't pick up the nodes, you wait for the switch. If the other team picks up the nodes, you pick up the switch straight away, and you get all the nodes, easy peasy. If the other team also know about this and don't pick up the nodes straight away, then it's kind of a, a you have to wait and see what's going on and then decide what you want to do. But Crucially, what you don't want to do is pick up those four nodes straight away. That's tip number one. Tip number two also comes from the map rotator. Say you're in a worst case scenario, you don't get all the nodes in the corners. All you need to do is have one for this tip to work. So as you can see here, I pick up one node in the top left corner. Now, I see a lot of people that just die here, but you can in fact survive even with all of these lasers. What you want to do, you want to get into this corner by their node and as you survive, you can go down back to your node and you're not actually going to get hit by any lasers. I see so many people that just die to this over and over and over. All you need is just one of those corner nodes and you can survive. So tip three comes on the map Turbine. Now, currently I'm running Thief Extend and normally anyone that's running Thief Extend is probably an idiot. But on Turbine, it's actually the better Thief mod. So as you can see here, I'm going to steal one, and I can actually steal both. Now on Turbine, map control is pretty much the sole thing that's going to get you a win. Especially late on, it gets very hectic very quickly. Being able to double steal on this map is really, really key. So Thief Extend, in my opinion, is actually better than Thief Surge if you're running on Turbine, as it can get you those double steals. Tip number four comes on the map carousel. Now, as you can see, the other team have all four of these lasers which will crush me. However, they're not actually in line on the sides, which means you can simply wall wrap and get out of it. Again, I see so many people that just died to this, when in fact, all you have to do is realize you're trapped in there. Assuming no one comes and stops you, you can get out every single time without fail. The other way you can do this also is if by doing the same thing, but then when you're gonna wall wrap instead, you can go in towards the middle of the map, you can also survive it, I didn't get a clip of that. But there's two ways of surviving it, and again I see so many people seeing that they're trapped and just accepting they're dead when they can survive. Tip number five comes on the map, Warzone. Now here, what I've decided to do is just leave this clip running and just talk over it, because it is incredible how easy it is to get kills. So, what you want to do, you want to pick Snipe on Warzone which a lot of people will do anyway, and then when these nodes spawn up and down across the side that you fire across, all you have to do is sit with your charge snipe at the bottom of that line and just snipe vertically. And as you can see, I've already gotten three kills in the space of 10 seconds. And it's just crazy, unless you're playing at a high level where people will clock onto this and realize, it's crazy how many kills you can get just by doing this simple thing. I haven't even picked up a laser yet, and I've gotten like four or five kills, I don't know. but. I've, this works, I've, I used to use this in league games all the time, I always use it in scrims, I always use it when I'm playing random people. It's crazy just how, how simple it is, but how effective it is. And again, I haven't picked up a single laser yet and I'm just still getting kills. So, you can apply this concept to any map where there's like kind of a laser line or a node line where lots of lasers will spawn. Um, but Warzone is just very apparent, but really any map that has just nodes that you know are going to spawn a line you know people are going to pick up. You can just snipe down a line with those nodes on it and you're going to get kills. It's as simple as that. So like I said, unless you're playing at a really high level where people know this and can avoid it, it's just, it's free kills essentially. You just want to pick snipe and bam bam. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's, it's fucking free load boys. <laughs> Tip number six is called tubing. Now, uh, we originally found this on the map called tube, which is why we called it tubing. What this allows you to do is run through a laser on the opposite side of the wall to you when you wall wrap. Um, now, if you time it right, 
when so you'll see here at the bottom left I've just run through that blue laser so the way you do that is you time it so when the opposite team's laser gets as close as possible to the opposite side of the water you you can then wall wrap and if you time it exactly right, you can get through that laser as if you didn't die. Now, technically, this could help you, like, in a league game or get out of a sticky situation when you're trapped or something like that if you can time it really well and you do it perfectly. But I'll show a couple of replays here. So, it's, it's yeah, you, you wall wrap when the enemy laser is as close to the wall as possible. And uh, this can lead to some really cool trick shotting opportunities if you're sniping. Um, which I've actually hit a few and I'm trying to make a video on if I can get enough um, but yeah it's just really cool so if you enjoy trick shotting or that kind of thing or if you just learn it it could eventually help you out of a situation where you're completely trapped but you manage to tube and you actually get out of something which would be really cool if anyone ever gets to do that please show me a video of it because that would be sick but yeah uh, pretty cool uh, a lot of people don't know about this but yeah Tube number, uh, fuck, tip number six, tubing. Tip number seven comes on the map Y control. When late in the game, all the lasers in the middle spawn, there's always a steal in one of the corners. Pick that up, and you'll probably win the round. If you don't, a switch then follows, so watch out for that. But pretty simple, look for all the lasers that spawn in the middle, then you know there's a steal, run to the corners, pick it up. If you ever spawn into a game and see this, just know not all hope is lost. It's probably Thrash Omen and Herbie All-Star and they suck. No, I'm just kidding. But basically, this next tip is how to deal with a Snipe Nitro or Snipe Reflex very, very easily. Now, Snipe Nitro and Snipe Reflex don't have the guard of Snipe Guard. So what this means is as soon as they snipe and teleport back to their marker, they're, they're, you know exactly where they are and it's a free kill or a free hit basically depending on what class you are. If you're a shock, a snipe, a smash, all you have to do as soon as you see a snipe nitro or a snipe reflex, place down their marker, run towards it, stand by it, make sure you're not on the line so you don't die, and then as soon as they teleport back give them half a second and then hit them with your ability and it's just, it's free, it's free hits. Tip number nine, this is kind of two in one, is on the map Singularity. Now, what you want to do is have a ghost on this map pretty much all the time. There's two reasons for this. First one, there's a lockdown that always spawns in the bottom right or the top left. So that's pretty simple. You can always get to that. If you learn when it's coming, it's very easy to pick up. Then there's a switch, uh, as you can see there. But then this is the most important one. After the switch, there's always a stun and it's always in the middle. And as a ghost, you can always get into there and get out of there safely pick up the stun, that helps your team so, so much. So yeah, two big reasons there, the lockdown and the stun, pick Ghost on Singularity, easy. Tip number 11, I don't really know what anyone can do with this, but you can actually survive a lockdown on the outside. So as you can see here, I'm on that outside of this lockdown. The only reason I die is because they pick up a stun and my hitbox changes. But that's the only clip I could get of it. You have to be in the exact right position outside of lockdown, but you can actually survive it. So again, I don't know who this information will help, but I found it. So there you go. The final tip of this video leads on from the tubing tip from earlier. This time, you'll notice a lot of thieves will think they're clever and steal one side of a lockdown so that you can't wall wrap. In reality, you can actually tube the lockdown when it's been stolen um, in the same way you can tube uh, on the map tube. Uh, the only difference is you don't have to time it, it just comes down to luck. Sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't, but as you can see on the screen now, uh, it's some clips of Das Gale actually tubing, so it, from bottom right to top right there you can see he just did it, he's going to do it again in a minute. It seems like some spots work better than other, but again it's completely random, but as before, this could eventually help uh, you guys if you're stuck or you're about to die and the only way out is tubing, it could work. 
the other thing you can obviously hit trick shots again like this um, so yeah that is um, 12 laser league tips you might not have known thank you all for watching hopefully you learned something I don't know thank you Daskale for sharing his clips um, and yeah peace